Hi everyone, you guys are there, not there. Look over there. This is my Q&A. You guys had questions and I will answer them as best as I can. Usually I don't actually say who you are and I just answer questions, but since you guys made your questions public, I will say who you are. But you can always say to not say who you are if you prefer. Question number one, from I came, I saw, I snapped. Do you have phantom cannula feelings? Are you still watching where you step out of habit? That's the one thing I'd be stoked to get rid of, my unfortunately necessary cannula. So yes, the answer is yes, I do. I still have cannula, um, phantom cannula feeling because I do this all day, literally all day. And under my mask, because we're of the COVID masks, I'm like always checking my cannula. So it's 100% phantom cannula feeling. I don't worry about tripping on the cable anymore, which is great. At night in particular, I wake up and I'm like, whoa, where's my cannula? And then I have like a little panic that I've lost it. And then I realize that it's a whole new life. So next question is from, and I'll just read the question. I'm not gonna read the whole comment because some of the comments are longer, but um, J.I. Colorist. So the question is, question. So with your new lungs, does that mean your pH is gone or just reset and it will progress again? Oh, it's a scary question. The idea is that your pulmonary hypertension is gone as a result of the transplant. I never say never to anything because God only knows but the idea is that the transplant is the way to get rid of the pulmonary hypertension. This one is from Santa Claus, Hawkeye, New Jersey, who's been a fan for such a long time. Thank you so much for being a fan for such a long time. You've been so incredibly supportive. Okay, your question, has the neck friend, the one that popped out, left you? So for those of you who have been watching my content or not, I had these neck veins uh, named Stanley. <laughs> they were named. My neck veins basically were bulging out of my neck because I couldn't breathe. And um, they're gone, Stanley's gone. I'm so, it's a, look, all you see now are scars, but there's no Stanley, look. Nothing. I'll just stay here till the camera runs out. This one is just a literal thank you because for, for speak English woman, to Martha Lenhart, thank you because you mentioned how vitamin E is, has been so helpful to you with diminishing scars. So thank you for that. I've been using this thing called Mederma and all my, I have scars here and then I have scars like pretty much everywhere, which again, I won't show you on camera because I will be banned from YouTube. The next question is from, the comments are really, really sweet and really nice and really much longer than I'm making them. I'm only like extracting the question part. So thank you all for your actual comments and for wishing me well and for everything. Amanda Edwards, I have a paralyzed vocal cord too. Have you had any treatments on your vocal cord? Yes, have I ever. I had my first treatment like 10,000 years ago, like basically like, like probably like almost 20 years ago, I had something called Symmetra injected into my throat when my vocal cord became, wait, what? My vocal cord wasn't paralyzed 20 years ago. <laughs> I've lost the sense of time. Hold on, let me calculate for just a second. Like, if you guys know me, you know I have no sense, of, like no sense of time. I don't know what day it is. They woke me up in the hospital and they tried to see if my brain was functioning correctly. They're like, what's your name? And then they're like, what's the date? And I was like, I can't tell you the date. Like, I will never be able to tell you the date. I don't know what day it is. I don't know what year it is ever. So that was a very bad test to see if I had my brain in order. I had my first injection in the vocal cords. That was probably like 15 years ago. About a year after it became paralyzed, my nerves were basically dead in the throat. That's not a good explanation at all, but they were dead. So it takes a year basically to find out if the nerves in your throat will come back or if they're damaged and gone. I did some Metro injections during that year. And at the end of the year, we realized it was perm permanently paralyzed. So I then had an operation. They put an implant behind my voice box. And then the other thing I've had is a injection not too long ago, actually, like probably about six months ago in my vocal cord to kind of like plump it up a little bit because it was every so often gets very thin. So in my case, the thicker my vocal cords are, so the more swollen they are, the better, which is weird because I'm on um, prednisone right now, which is making my voice really thin, which is for singers very good, but in my case, not so good because of my cord being so thin to begin with. Thank you.